We have the latest on Star Wars Episode 8, the new Spider-Man reboot, and a bunch more, so get ready as we list off the top five biggest stories that came out of Tinseltown this week. Number five, Zack Snyder revealed that Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice is basically Man of Steel 2. And speaking with Canoe.com, the director said, I think in a way, Batman vs Superman is Man of Steel 2. Does this mean we won't be seeing another Superman film anytime soon? After the rumors of Warner Brothers wanting more Batman in the upcoming film, seems more and more likely that may be the case. Number four, in an interview with Israeli site Xnet, Wonder Woman herself, Gal Gadot, reveals that she had been offered a role in Man of Steel saying, when I was a month pregnant with my daughter Alma, I got an offer to be the evil Superman character. If I wasn't pregnant, I'd take the job, and there's no way they would take me now to be Wonder Woman. It's believed that that evil Superman character was Kryptonian villainess Feora. The universe made the right call if you ask me. Number three, we received word on the next Spider-Man movie reboot, and it doesn't sound half bad. We'll get to see 15-year-old Peter Parker this time around. Same goes for his appearance in Captain America Civil War. Director John Watts also added, we won't be seeing a rehash of Spidey's origin story, affirming there are only so many times you can kill Uncle Ben. Yes, thank you, finally. Number two, we got a first look at DC's Red Tornado costume in CBS The Supergirl. He is described as the most advanced android the world has ever seen, posing a grave danger to National City, including the people Supergirl cares about most. Supergirl premieres Monday, October 26th on, you guessed it, CBS. And number one, another big Star Wars Episode Eight rumor surfaced and made our number one spot this week. According to MakingStarWars.com, Hayden Christensen is returning to the franchise and is set to begin training for a Star Wars Episode Eight appearance of some kind. He's also been rumored to appear in Rogue One. So basically, Darth Vader is back and the internet needs to figure out its feelings about this. And that's your top five entertainment news of the week. Be sure to check out the rest of IGN's biggest news stories out of Hollywood every day, and we'll see you guys same time next week.